Wood or timber. Wood is a natural material and can be found all over the world, with different species found in different areas. Approximately 80% of the UK wood needs are supplied by other countries, such as Malaysia, Brazil, etc. There are two basic types of tree, namely hardwoods and softwoods. The difference between the two types is that the hardwoods are generally deciduous, broad-leafed species, while the softwoods are generally evergreen. To be very quick, hardwoods include oak, ash, beech, walnut, whereas softwoods are pine, spruce and Douglas fir. Examples of hardwoods grown in the UK include oak and ash, while examples of imported tropical hardwoods include teak, cedar and mahogany. There are a small number of usable softwoods than there are usable hardwoods. Softwoods such as larch, spruce, scots pine and Douglas fir are grown in forest and plantations in the UK but approximately 90% of all the UK softwood needs are supplied by countries such as Norway and Sweden. The structure of wood. All woods are fibrous with the fibres or grain growing along the length of the tr trunk or branch. These fibres consist of cells or tracheids of mainly cellulose supported by lignin resin. Approximately 55% of the tree is cellulose, while 28% of the lignin resin holds it all together. The remainder is made up of carbohydrates like sugars. Wood can therefore be thought of a natural composite. Being fibrous, wood has its greatest strength in the direction of the grain. In other words, if a length of timber were to be put under tension along the grain, it would be able to support a far greater load than if it were to be put under tension across the grain. Defects in wood. Wood is a natural material and therefore it is not consistent in structure, for example as a plastic is. Therefore we get different defects such as knots. The main difficulty with woods is that these contain defects such as these knots and knots are where the branches grow out of the trunk. Knots can weaken the structure of a material as well as produce an irregular grain. Conversion. Conversion is the term used when sawing a tree trunk into usable pieces of timber. There are two basic forms of conversion, which are called slab sawn and quarter sawn. Splits. Other defects include splits which occur when the material is drying, or from natural events such as lightning, which produce hairline cracks across the grain. Shrinkage occurs as the material is dried out and loses moisture during seasoning. Moisture plays a large part in the use of timbers. For example, if a timber product is to be used outside, then if it were to be dried at a 5% moisture content, it would, be very quick, it would very quickly absorb moisture. As it absorbs moisture, it may warp, bow, twist and produce cupping deformations. Wood can also be atta attacked by insects, or receive dry and wet rot. Seasoning is, in effect, a controlled drying of the timber. This can be achieved either naturally or by a kiln drying method, such as putting it in a large oven. Whichever method is used, the moisture content of the material must be below 20%. This is known as the Equilibrium Moisture Content, or EMC. The benefits of seasoning increases its strength and stability and it makes the timber less prone to rot and decay. What is a veneer? A veneer is a term given to a thin layer of wood that has been shaved off a tree trunk, a bit like the Andrex puppy taking a loo roll off the, off the toilet roll holder. Hardwoods are usually materials to make up the veneers because they tend to be more decorative and durable than softwoods. These veneers can be stuck to a less desirable material such as MDF and will give it the appearance of a much more desirable material but at a reduced cost. Man-made boards. Man-made boards such as plywood which is a layer of veneer and resin or blockboard which is a strip of wood bonded together 
or MDF which is made up of very fine fibres mixed with resins or sterling board which is shaved into wood or com and compressed into resins are man-made boards. What is the benefit of a man-made board? Well, you can't buy wood as a, as a large plank which often comes in an 8x4 sheet or 2.4 by 1.2 meters. Wood doesn't grow flat or smooth or in exactly 3, 6 or 9 millimeters. So the benefit of using a man-made board is it comes in a desirable form or stock form that you require. How can you preserve a timber? What, what materials could you use to preserve it? You could apply varnish, paint, stain, oil, wax. All of these will preserve it by applying a surface finish to it and preventing moisture entering the surface.